This is Lady Rock with Blink Atlanta. I am with the beautiful Miss Lisa Nicole Cloud, and we are about to do an exclusive interview. Everybody want to know who is Lisa Nicole? Well, Lisa Nicole is a woman of God. Lisa is a woman who is very much into family. But Lisa is a woman that handles her business. You know, I have multiple businesses. Yes. Um, I made my first million when I was in my early 30s. And now I'm just passionate about entrepreneurship. And I'm passionate about helping women have their breakthrough. And just being a positive example for people. I began building my wealth in direct sales. I am a top earner in a company called Five Links. And... It just happened to happen that way. It wasn't like I planned to become a professional networker, but I found the right company at the right time, earned money from that, made a lot of money from that. And then I always study wealth strategists. And wealth strategists say you don't own just one business, you own multiple businesses, and you invest in businesses. And so that's what prompted me to start other businesses like the Lisa Nicole Collection and wow. the Elite Signature Group, and I have a media company. So wow. I have a lot of irons in the in the fire. Mm -hmm. I've written a couple of books. Okay. Um, Mastering the Art of Success. You know, one thing about success is it leaves clues. Mm -hmm. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You find people who are already successful. You study their strategies. You study their models. And you just duplicate it. I mean, even when I started the clothing line, I looked closely at a lot of top designers and the models that they employ to build their fashion empires. And Donna Karen was one that I studied. Right. Success for me is living on your own terms, doing what you want, when you want, because you want to, not having to answer to anybody else, and really feeling fulfilled in everything that you do. Right. Um, I feel like a lot of people make a lot of money, but they're miserable doing it. They don't have a life. They don't enjoy the fruits of their labor. And I love the fact that um, I have a life where I do enjoy traveling. I do enjoy spending time with my kids and my husband. And, you know, it's all about balance. If at the end of the day you sacrifice all the things that are important, what's the point in having wealth? Now, let me just say, I think lots of people want to be in business for themselves. But honestly speaking, I think a lot of people play business. And when I say play business, I mean you're engaged in entrepreneurship but your businesses are not profitable you aren't watching the things that matter you you know your profit margins your product development your revenue streams you know you aren't watching your business and doing all the important things your contracts your accounting your books all of that and so um, my recommendation for anyone trying to start a business is first to figure out what you love doing I really believe that if you do what you love the money will follow and then the second thing I would tell them is having your own business is the hardest thing you can do. You know, it requires a lot of time, a lot of discipline, a lot of resources. You'll never work as hard as you work when you work for yourself. And so just be prepared to work hard. Um, just know that anything worth having is not going to come quickly. You're going to have to put time into it. You're going to have to put patience into it. And you have to know that success is cyclical. It goes in cycles. Sometimes you're going to be up. Sometimes you're going to be down, and even when you're in those down phases, keep pushing. Never, ever give up and never, ever quit on your dreams. I mean, you know, fashion is dear to my heart, and that goes with your passion. You I have, love fashion. Wow. Three different lines. So, wow. us about... The Lisa Nicole Collection is really a lifestyle brand. Okay. We started off in women's apparel and accessories. We'll move into other things, household items, things of that nature. Wow. But right now, we're focused on women's apparel and accessories. And my husband is actually developing a line yeah. for men. People are always saying, what okay. about the men? So awesome. uh, you'll see that in 2015, a line of dress shirts and cufflinks and ties and bow ties. But um, what I would tell you with as it relates to fashion mm -hmm. is I love it. You know, I think success, dressing for success is very important. I think... First impressions are lasting impressions. Right. And a lot of times the way we show up, we don't realize what first impression we're leaving with people. And people can only take you as serious in business as you take yourself. So mm -hmm. that was one of the reasons why from being a businesswoman, you know, I parlayed it into 
the fashion industry because I think dressing for success is important. Shoot, like mo like every single day, what motivates you to still do, do five, five links? links? Yes. You know, people ask me that all the time because, of course, I've been in direct sales for 10 years. Um, I could definitely be retired. But the one thing that you get in direct sales is you get an opportunity to touch people's lives in a very special mm -hmm. way. I mean, I've helped people become financially free. In 10 years, I've helped 14 people become documented millionaires through awesome. direct sales. So awesome. for me, that's so fulfilling. I love um, teaching people entrepreneurship through the direct sales model, but also helping them grow as a person. I mean, it's sad if your bank account grows, but you don't grow as a person. So I love direct sales. No matter how successful I become in all my other businesses, I will always do direct sales. People ask me all the time what made me decide to do reality TV because yes. it is such a crazy world. Well, you know, the networks give people what they seem to ask for, and mm -hmm. people respond to the drama. It's like the world has an insatiable appetite for drama.